Welcome back to the Watch and Cut channel. I'm your host, Alex, and tonight we got a really sweet unboxing to do. That's right, we have a super cool unboxing. Now, I ordered this knife almost three years ago from Landon Lodato, from Lodato Knives, and I'm super excited. This is gonna be a epic unboxing. We're talking some badass materials. We're talking some fancy features. We're talking about a full custom. Ooh, slow down! Now I'm super excited because honestly this year I haven't been buying knives like I usually do. Um, I kind of just wanted to kind of clear out all my orders that I had in the past so I haven't really been ordering anything and I've just kind of been hanging low really with the knife world because to face the reality of things knife prices went out of control a knife you used to get for fifteen hundred dollars is now three grand there is just yeah everything's out of control so anyways back to the unboxing uh, this guy comes all the way from New York. It comes from an order from three years ago. I think in March of 2020 is when I put a deposit on this guy. Um, and I sent him out my own carbon fiber um, that I had, which actually they no longer make this stuff, so this should be pretty exciting. And he mixed in a little bit of uh, Norris Damascus and... Uh, San Mayish, Damascus, and all kinds of good work. Woo! 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 So I've seen pictures of it. I've posted pictures of it on Instagram already in his hands. But this is going to be the unboxing for this guy. So um, let's get to it. So I'm really excited. And by the way, guys, I did order this a while ago, but I will say this. This maker has given me such an awesome experience because the entire time I was waiting for him, which he did warn me up front that this was going to take a while, because um, I don't think he's a full-time knife maker. I think this guy's got, you know, a real job. Not to say that knife making is not a real job, but you know what I mean. And uh, so he doesn't make very many of them. As a matter of fact, when I asked him what number this is, I think he said this was like number 27. Um, so he kind of does knives, I think, on his spare time. And um, yeah, I just had to wait and be patient. And it was kind of hard because every time I seen him make another one of these, they were just so awesome time and time over again and I really didn't know if mine was going to outdo any of these so I'm pretty excited um, to take a look at this because this is a knife that uh, yeah I saw pictures and stuff and I am super excited I think this is one of Landon's best work um, so let's take a look here so here we go so here's the certificate of authenticity. So this is a Vulcan front flipper, which I don't even think he's done a front flipper one of these yet. He might might have. Um, but this also is a bolstered lock, which is pretty sick. That was one of my requests. We got Mike Norris Sanmai XHP core. Now I'm pretty excited about that because if some of you who know me well know, I love XHP. That's actually one of my favorite steels and I think it's uh, nearly impossible to get now. Um, I don't think they make it anymore. Here's the birthday on this guy. You can see it's very recent. Uh, 9-16-2023 is when he finished it. Oh, he's been working on this guy for a while. I've been getting update process. We got darkened titanium and brass actually raindrop cf now that's the stuff i sent to him to uh, do the scales out of he did the darkened titanium and there you go so that's the certificate of authenticity here's his logo pretty badass with this crazy crusader type sword and here's all his contact information um, he does make some crazy sick ass sick <laughs> i mean sick fixed blades um so go check at him out on instagram i mean you guys won't be disappointed just don't go harass him for our knife he's you know he's a busy dude 
ask him nicely and be prepared to wait because yeah like i said i don't think he does this as his full-time job and holy holy shit the custom vulcan so now i'm super excited to share this one um, again, I've been waiting a really long time for this knife, and I really fell in love with it with his actually very first Vulcan. Here's a picture of it. Um, I can't remember. I saw a video. I think the guy who owns it is in Hawaii, um, but I saw this knife, and I'm like, dude, I got to reach out to this guy and order one. So I did. Um, I put a deposit on it and um yeah i waited a while he kept in contact with me throughout the whole time and um wow this thing feels solid look at that beautiful some damascus sand my blade so if you guys know mike norris is a legend in the industry he just makes absolutely phenomenal damascus um, you can see the beautiful patterns there. You almost have kind of like a raindrop effect here. You got kind of a basket weave thing going on. And then you got this Core XHP here for that super cutting performance. Um, we kind of were, we weren't really sure at first if we're going to do like a bright blade or we're going to do it dark. But when we did the dark bolsters, I agreed with him that we should just go ahead and make the whole thing uh, blacked out or kind of a dark theme. And I think we nailed it. Um, shit. I mean, he nailed it. <laughs> he just did such a great job on the etch. You can still see all the beautiful patterns in there, but you got a nice dark blade. By the way, I just love his logo. That Crusader Blade logo just looks fucking awesome. Uh, you got a beautiful fuller right here. Kind of a modified drop point Tonto kind of theme to it. A little bit of Japanese flavor. And the action is just so sweet. Wow. Um, front flipper is very easy to flip. It's not one of those front flippers where, you know, you got yourself wondering if you're going to fling the knife in the other side of the room. This one is just positioned really nicely and it's not intrusive at all. Some knives, you got these huge front flippers just to make sure you can get a handle on things. That's what she said. It just kind of takes away from the knife, but you can see he kind of jimped it right in the front there rolled everything out so you got no sharp edges i think he just nailed it um, nice keen edge it is very sharp very thin behind the edge um, man i love this thing so to go a step further because i did want this knife to match really well we did the same sort of damascus san mai on the pivot collars um, you got this black darkened titanium set of bolsters and it is a frame lock. It's a true frame lock. You can see his relief cuts here. Uh, but this is a bolstered lock where you got the bolster that's going to go ahead and kind of cover most of the frame lock bar right here. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. If you like liner locks because it shows all the carbon fiber on one side, but you like the mechanical edge that a frame lock gives you, you kind of got the best of both worlds here. This handle is nice and thin. You can see how thin and profiled the carbon fiber is. You can barely tell it's there, um, but you just got a beautiful display of this kind of uh, brass uh, raindrop Damascus pattern. Uh, carbon fiber on both sides and from what I understand this stuff uh, you can't get it no more so this is kind of a special deal right here and when I build custom knives I always like to add a little bit of my input a little bit of my flavor or my material in there and that just makes me happy it feels like I I, I went to him and I said hey I want to participate I want in on this right um, and so it just feels even more like my knife. You can see here the backspacer. We did the same thing. We got the uh, core Sanmai Damascus all the way through. Um, and if you really look for it, you can kind of see the striping in there. Really nicely fitted in. I really like that little extra uh, touch of design he did right here. 
and we did the same with the clip right here so you got a nice smooth rounded contoured clip on the outside plenty of ramp um, the problem with Damascus uh, using Damascus for um, pocket clips is a lot of times they don't have flex however you can see the way that he actually ground this so thin you got plenty of flex on this thing so this is going to be a clip that's going to work really really nicely uh, looks like it's screwed from the inside not on the outside so you don't have these intrusive screws and he went even to the length of making sure the screw heads are rounded so it all looks nice here's your stop pin right here you got the same pattern Damascus San Mai pivot collar on this side they're nicely fitted in and yeah what a gorgeous knife I, I really wish I could tell you guys describe to you how smooth the action is on this thing here's the spidey flick on this guy it is so smooth like I mean I don't know I, I could put this guy against the best in the industry man this thing is sweet I am so damn excited uh, I mean yeah this is freaking badass it's just got so many patterns and things to look at to keep the knife really interesting um, and I really like the way that this Damascus pattern really fits in well with the carbon fiber raindrop it's just got a bit of I don't know it just almost disappears right like if you were to remove this shadow out of it, the whole thing you almost <clears throat> couldn't tell that the clip was there um, if we look here in the release of the lock when it is out you can see the fitment of the bolster and the lock is flawless this is when you're going to want to see the um, the lock bar the carbon fiber everything kind of come together in one single piece of material and he nailed that that's really where like most people fail with the bolstered lock very difficult to do just for that very reason it's going to take a lot of extra time just to get that done and um, man Landon really nailed it I've got to say uh, without exaggerating this is actually one of my favorite customs I've ever had built I'm not just saying that I've been collecting knives for more than 10 years and I can tell you right now this is definitely one of my favorites I would put it up against some of the big name knives that I have the Robert Carters the you know I mean you, you name it this this there's nothing lacking in this whatsoever this is really really well done so I'm really excited to carry this guy take some sweet pictures show it off and we'll actually do a full review at some point this is just kind of more of an unboxing show off kind of thing Landon thank you so much man I am such a happy customer you don't even know you you've yeah you've got my stamp of approval not like that means anything but <laughs> for whatever it's worth I am just so pleased you can't even understand and make sure you subscribe for more action from the watch and cut channel I know I've been kind of on a hiatus kind of busy and stuff but I'll keep trying to do more videos more often as I usually try to do I don't always succeed but you know when you're a parent you got a full-time job and all kinds of stuff going on you do the best you can right but I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you leave a comment. What do you guys think of the Vulcan? Where's that Vulcan salute go? That hurts worse than the uniform. I think that this is one badass custom. So we'll see you guys all on the next one. This is the Watch and Cut channel.